in this video i'm going to show you how to easily track your affiliate commissions and this method will work with all kinds of affiliate networks for example like clickbank jvzoo or commission junction to mention the more popular ones now the basic idea of affiliate tracking in link tracker is to use the sub id formats that is provided by each of these affiliate networks let me give you an example of what i mean so in clickbank if you are looking at the clickbank marketplace over here and as you search for products and you find the one that you want to promote when you click on promote and clickbank would ask you for tracking id so this is the sub id over here sub id is a generic term um, different affiliate networks use a different sub id format clickbank uses tid for example commission junction uses sid but everything is considered as a sub id so sub id is just a generic term for any kind of additional tracking that your affiliate network allows you to add at the end of each affiliate link so let me just put in test for the tracking id and click on create so what you will see here is that we have the affiliate link over here and right at the very end you see question mark tid equals to test so this is so this is sub id tracking now with a simple tracking like this you can actually track all kinds of promotion you can even track your pay-per-click ads the problem is you probably have to do this over and over again for each traffic source that you want to track so if you are advertising this product directly from facebook on your blog twitter and even google adwords that's four different links that you will need to create a smarter way is to use the affiliate tracking option in link tracker that helps you change this thing here help you change the actual tracking variable and substitute it with link trackers own click tracking id that is unique and generated automatically based on each click that you get in your link tracker tracking link okay so now let's copy this link let's go back to link tracker and select the project that you want to work with click on links and click on add new then you can give your link a name as for the destination url i'll just paste in the affiliate link that i just copied from clickbank okay and tracking link of course i will give it whatever i want over here and this tid okay is no longer required you can delete that and instead we will go to the affiliate tracking option and select on to enable affiliate tracking then choose the sub id format so you really need to know which sub id format is used by affiliate network but in the case that you don't you can always click on refer to this chart and we give you some of the formats that are used by the most popular affiliate uh, networks and affiliate platforms like has offers so again just double check with your affiliate uh, network if it's not available here and get the right sub id format so in the case of clickbank i can just select tid because as you've seen here clickbank uses tid and if you're using some kind of custom affiliate network or if the sub id format is not available here you can select custom and you can specify your own okay so for example if your affiliate networks using the sub id format as the s you can just specify your own but in this case i'm going to select tid okay and i'm going to click on create link now let's click on the link to test it and you will see that The Clickbank affiliate link has been automatically forwarded to the actual affiliate site. 
Okay, now that the link has been created, so you will use this link when you promote this particular affiliate product. Now, since you have turned on affiliate tracking, for every click that you get for this particular link, Link Tracker will generate a unique click tracking ID and pass that to your destination URL or affiliate link using the sub ID format over here. When you make a sale in your affiliate platform or affiliate network, that click tracking ID will appear in the sub ID column of your reports. Now what you need to do once you have the report is downloaded in Microsoft Excel or CSV and then go to reports and click on import data. So we so we've given you the link tracker format and all you need to do is edit the downloaded file from your affiliate network to match the format that we have given here. So the format is simple. It's a date, the exact time, and uh, the time format is important over here, and the name or conversion name. So this will be most probably the name of the affiliate product that you've promoted and earned a commission for. And the type, it could be a lead, and the type, it can be a lead or a sale, conversion amount, Again, this should be exactly from your uh, affiliate network, but make sure that you do not include any currency symbols over here. And the click tracking ID that is passed to your affiliate network should appear under the sub ID tracking of your affiliate network's report and change the column header name to CT ID and make sure that the click tracking IDs are here. And if you're not and you can always click on download sample to actually download a sample of this in Microsoft Excel to make it easier for you to migrate the data. Once you have put in the format into uh, the table as what you can see over here, then you can choose the date format as per your reports and will automatically convert it. Okay, this is one of the cool things about uh, our upload function is that you can just specify the date format. So if the date format given in your affiliate network is not like this, this date format is actually month followed by date and followed by year. Okay, so if it's not exactly the same as this, don't worry, you can just select the date format used in the file that you are uploading and change the time format as well. So you can have 24 hour or 12 hour time formats. In the example here, this is a 12 hour time format. Then you can choose file and click on import. And in the next step, we will check through all the data that you have submitted. And if there are any errors, we will inform you on the rows in the file that cannot be imported. And you'll, you'll be able to check the valid data versus the invalid data. And finally, you'll be able to import that data. Once you import the data, we will match the click tracking ID that appears in the uploaded file to the one that is already recorded in your link tracker account. Once we match these two click tracking IDs, then you'll be able to see the exact reports for each affiliate sale that you have made in your affiliate network. So it's really simple to do. Make sure you turn on affiliate tracking when it's an affiliate link and make sure that the sub ID format is correct. And finally, when you are uploading the report, make sure that you format it according to the sample that we have provided here.